Howdy folks, this is Checkers, and this is X4 Foundations. This is a space faring game. I thought I would give it a whirl. I am not an expert at this. I am, well, either very old at it or very new at it, depending on how you look at it. I've played Privateer and all the Wing Commanders when they very first came out and I was in college, but I haven't really played anything like this in a very, very long time. So, this is going to be something of a tutorial for us in how to play X4. And if I can do it, you can definitely do it too. So, first things first, what we want to do is take a look at our settings quick. And graphics, sound, game settings, I'm going to leave that all up to you. Controls, I'm going to let you know some things. General is where you find how to control your ship. In my experience, the numpad keys cannot be remapped. You can remap them, they just don't work. So the keys I use for movement are up for strafe up, down for strafe down, left for strafe left, and right for strafe right. I do not use X or Z to accelerate or decelerate. I use the mouse wheel up to accelerate, mouse wheel down to decelerate. That, I believe, is a default. Now, you don't really need to memorize anything too much more than what you use for strafe up, down, left, and right. Your mouse will control your steering unless you plug in a joystick and then you're all on your own. So that was under general for moving yourself as a bipedal creature, whether you be human or alien or what have you, you use the platform movement forward backward strafe left strafe right now numpad 5 is mapped here but it does not work so again i'm just using the arrow keys and as far as i can tell the mouse wheel doesn't do anything that basically gives us enough things for movement we'll talk about the other keys in the game so we are going to start a new game there are three options here, the Young Gun, Even after the Dedicated Warrior, I'm not going to let them read through, and the Untested Explorer. And Jumping the Young Jumping. Gun starts with the most money, so we're going to grab that one. I Even think it's kind of the easiest, the and it contains the tutorials, so we're going to do that. Val and he's going to start talking, so we're just going to hit the Escape key and go through. So... For our controls, we learned that we could move forward, back, strafe left, strafe right. That moves us around, the mouse moves our view. This is our ship. And to go inside the ship, we just walk right up the ladder. To leave the ship, we can walk right down the ladder. Alternatively, you could press Shift D. This will instantly put you in the ship no matter where you are in the station. If you own more than one ship, it will give you a choice of which ship to transport to. They have to be in the same station. Also, if you hit the Enter key, you will bring up this menu. One of the options is Go to Ship. This is, you can see where you would get the choice. You would have your other choices below it. Select the one you want and Go to Ship. So, here we have our ship. What do we do with it? This will come in handy in bigger ships. For right now, it's pretty irrelevant. What we want to interact with is the chair. From the chair, we get something similar to that enter menu. We can see at the top our options, player information, dock interactions, which is what we're on now, the map, encyclopedia, tutorials, and help. If you want to get up from the chair, simple as clicking on get up, or control D to get back into the chair just left click trade opens up commodities trading we're not going to worry about that right now because we don't have much money so cancel on out of that undock lifts your ship up but we're gonna wait on that ship information tells you a bit about your ship so you could see Right now we've got an elite vanguard our current name is Val Selton but I don't want to be Val Selton I want to be something else. So how do I change that? Come to player information. Here you can see the logo that's on the side of our ship, currently the Vitruvian Man. We can change it to something more fun, like, oh, say, an arrow in the knee. 
I used to be a space-faring pilot, and then I took an arrow in the knee anyway. And we can also change our name right here, clicking on that. So we see the cursor behind the name, backspace to clear it out, and just put in your name. Enter, and all is good. You can also change your default ship skin, which basically changes kind of the stripe along this wing. Other ships, it'll change a little bit more. So there's, as far as I can tell, black, red, green, and a sort of yellow. Um, I gotta say, I kind of like the green or the red the most, but the red's a little too dark. So I'm gonna go with the green, sort of a Christmassy thing. And we can see other information about ourselves, but none of this is really relevant at the moment. So we will walk out of there and take a look at our map. You can access the map again, either by just clicking on the map button right up here, or you can press the M key at any time to bring up your map. And if we zoom in, we can see our ship, our Elite Vanguard right there. And what we'd like to do is find some money. Now there are two ways we can go about that. One is that we can go back to Dock Interactions and click on Upgrade Repair Docked Ships. From here, this is where we can, of course, upgrade our docked ships, but we can also sell a few things that we already have. Here we have some satellites, nav beacons, and resource probes. What we could do is sell off one, two, three of each. You can sell them all if you want, or you don't have to sell any. But this will get us a little grub stake, a little bit more money than we have. Now over here, you can see we're losing the things in red, so we're getting a negative charge. In other words, we're going to get this money. So you add all that to your shopping cart, and here's where you confirm your order. Now, once that's done, you see right here under this menu, it says wait for upgrade to finish. It's going to take 30 seconds. I'll speed this up. Okay, and we are good to go. We currently have a grand total of 48,000. We could use that to, well, not quite. We can't get any better thrusters right now, and that's what I'd really like to get. So what we are going to do is undock. So we undock and the ship lifts off. But before we go too far, let's talk about docking. Reverse the mouse wheel, roll it back, and we will reverse. And then roll it back to zero or press backspace to cut your engines. I navigate by pressing shift spacebar, and that gives me kind of a mouse look navigation. Point at a pad you would like, press shift D, and that requests docking. And now we have the docking interface. So we put our gun sight on the green. We roll the mouse wheel forward slowly and as we move forward, you will see the red carrot at the bottom move forward. Now we slow, uh oh, somebody hit us. Oh. Goodness. All right. Well, we're just going to slide back over then and press the down key to strafe down a little bit more mouse forward. So we line everything up. Once that line is green, now we press down a little bit more and fall through the floor. That is manual docking. Welcome. You can also from upgrade and repair purchase under software, docking computers. Since we can't buy thrusters, we may as well buy docking computer Mark II. And we will add that to our shopping list and confirm the order. We've got another 30 seconds or so, and I will speed this up. Okay, and now if we undock, we can also press Shift D to undock. Now we're gonna roll our mouse wheel back and we're going to shift spacebar so we get our mouse look back. Press shift D again to dock or cancel. We can also do this from the enter menu, get dock permission. 
and then we close this with the delete key at least that's how mine closes it your mileage may vary so now as we approach our docking berth slide under that guy watch how much easier it is that was it we just had to get relatively close and the ship lands itself I kind of enjoyed the manual docking but after a while when you're trying especially when you're trying to work with the bigger ships it really that docking computer mark II is pretty awesome Alrighty, folks, I would like to say thank you for watching my very first tutorial in X4 Foundations. I hope you found the video informative and maybe even just a little helpful. If you liked it, please feel free to leave a like. And if you'd like to see more, please let me know in the comments. I would like to also invite you to subscribe and thank you kindly if you are already subscribed. Most of all, though, I would like to ask you to please, please, take care. Awaiting orders.